Arsenal City. City, of course, won this game 3-1. to one. This game was on Wednesday. Not going to go over the odds because it's all in the past. What were your big takeaways from this match? This was the first time that I think it really crystallized to me that we are talking about a City team that seems to be lacking depth. You just watched City beat Arsenal 3-1. to one. You watched them regain their place at the top of the table. And your takeaway was that depth was going to bite them. Like, where is depth going to jump back in and crush them? Are you talking about in Champions League? Are you talking about over the final, whatever it is, 16 games left in the Premier League that's going to allow Arsenal to top them uh, because City's going to run out of gas? The previous a couple Arsenal matches, Everton, Brentford, etc. Like that was the first time where we, I think, finally saw the depth issue and the minutes issue catch up to them a little bit for some random results after a string of, of a pretty good run. When De Bruyne is off the pitch now, it is it falls solely pretty much on Jack Grealish to basically create chances. One injury now puts them in a super weird spot. That didn't happen before. Like, even if De Bruyne went out last year, would you and I have been like, oh, this is like a huge blow? Like, no, we thought they would have plugged in, it would have been plug and play. They'd just have to do some moving around with the different pieces he has on the bench. And that was it. But now you're one or two injuries away from like Cole Palmer or a 4-4-2 with Julian Alvarez. 